Welcome back to my channel. It's Ashley with Heart for Home. You want up here too? <laughs> We're just all gonna do this today. about chores and specifically chores for this guy. Can you tell me how old you are? Four. Four. And how can, Yeah, and you just turned four, right? Yes. Because you just had a birthday? Yes. Yes. Okay, so but you, it's one more day to my birthday. Party. One more day party. to your birthday. Party. Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna ask you a question, okay? Okay. Do you do your chores? Do you do a good job with your chores? Yeah. Do you like doing chores? <laughs> but you... Still do it. You, you still do it. Yeah. Do you feel good after you've done them and you've checked them off your list? Yes. Yes. Okay. So five tips for getting your child to do their chores without complaint and doing it effectively. So tip number one, you want to make it fun. You want to make it as enthusiastic and as fun as possible. Yay, it's chore time. Let's go do our chores. Or, hmm, what chores do we, do we have to do today? Make it fun. Also, charts are an awesome, easy way of making it fun. Um, you can go all out and do exorbitant, like over the top charts with lots of stickers and lots of colors and all kinds of, I mean, you can get on Pinterest and see tons and tons and tons of ways to do charts. I'm a simple girl. I can't handle all that. So, we have a simple chart. And I did it in documents. I pasted pictures so that he could see because he's a non-reader. And then I made it colorful and then I printed it off. I laminated it and I stuck it in my refrigerator. That way he can, every day, he can go see what he has to do and he can just check it off. So, we, uh, we, get, all, we get all excited with it and we change colors every day week or every day so and you like to use different colored markers right what color marker are you using right now to check it off red yeah red okay so make it fun because if you are excited about it then they are going to be excited about it but if you're dreading it then they're going to learn to dread it because they see you so tip number two make it age appropriate so many times we make the mistake of thinking that they can do more than what they actually can do or less than what they actually can do. More times often than not, it's less. We think that they are less capable because they are little. But they can surprise you. So, Rid, he can wipe down the countertops. He can help me dust. He can pick up the living room. He picks up all the toys in the living room. That's his job. He picks up all the shoes that get thrown around the house and he goes and puts them in their little cubby where they go. He um, folds his clothes to a degree and he puts them in the appropriate drawers that they go in and he can help me vacuum. Now they're not going to be able to go and put things like, or at least not for us at three and four, we are not good enough yet to be able to say, okay, this is this kind of toy and it goes here and this is this kind of toy and it goes here and this is this kind of toy and it goes here. That's just a little bit too much for him. So what I have done is the toys that we play with all the time, They, I have a big basket in the living room that's, that hides my toys and whenever he plays with those toys in the living room, we put them in that basket. So it's just a quick pick up and throw them in that basket. Um, and then of course I, different story, but I rotate those toys out so that we don't get bored. But that is a toy that they can do. They can also help you wipe off countertops. Uh, that's one chore we love to do, huh? To wipe off countertops? Yes. Yeah. And my clothes. And your clothes? Yeah. You put your clothes away? Yes. Yes, you do, don't you? And what else do you do? Do you help mommy vacuum? Yes. Yes. And I did the vacuum thing. Yeah, but then we got the, the iRobot, huh? And that yes. kind of took that chore away from you some. Do you do it? No, they can't see it right now. We'll show them later, okay? Okay, so do not 
ask your three or four year old to do chores that are for a seven, eight, nine year old. They just can't do it, it's not gonna work, and then they're gonna be frustrated with themselves and they're not gonna feel the accomplishment of doing the chore. At this age, it's really not about the chore itself, but about teaching them the discipline of doing the chores. So that later on in life, they can actually do more around the house. So, make it age appropriate. Make it something that they can do and feel accomplished that they have done and give them a job that they can be excited about doing. Okay, tip number three. You want to make it a priority. This is my biggest tip for you today. You want to make it a priority and you want to have consistency. It doesn't matter what time of the day you decide to do it. It's part of our morning routine that we do every day. So it is consistent in our house. And I try not to have any errands or anything to do that morning so that it is consistent and they can expect it. It is just part of our day. We get up, we eat breakfast, we do our morning devotional, and then we break off and we all do our chores. So our kids know that it is coming, they can expect it, and they've learned to thrive off of that structure of it. So you just wanna be consistent because if you do it one day and then the next day you're like, oh, I just don't feel like doing chores. And there are so many days that I just don't wanna do them. But I have learned that if we are consistent with our children, then they are less likely to throw fits over it because it's just life. Okay, number four. Can you say number four? Number four. Because it's your favorite number, right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Number four, you need to have a consequences for not doing your chores or rewards for doing your chores. It, this just really depends on your parenting style. If you're more of a rewarder for doing the work that they need to do or a consequence, do they do have consequences for not doing the work that they're supposed to do? It just depends on your style of parenting. You can also, honestly, you can do both. Okay, well, sorry, buddy, you didn't do your chores today, so we're just not gonna get to go to the park because you know we really needed to get those chores done and you didn't do them, so. I mean, they're big enough to understand. They are completely big enough to understand that. Or a reward, buddy, you did your chores all week. You did not do have any arguments with mommy over it, so let's run to the Dollar Tree and get you a toy because you did such an awesome job. Um, personally, I tend to not reward as often as some parents do just for the fact that I don't want them to do something strictly to gain something out of it, a toy every single week. So I, mean, I will do spur of the moment ones, but I do not do it completely often because some things in life you just do because you have to do it and it kind of stinks but you just got to do it and I want them to be able to be satisfied with the work that they complete and have internal satisfaction and not satisfaction of a toy but that is a personal thing and it doesn't matter your parenting style everybody parents different and everybody has different ways of doing thing and there is I there's no right or wrong it all works and they all grow up to be happy kids, hopefully. So, tip number five. In the beginning, you're going to have to show them how to do it. They're not just gonna know, so you need to show them how to fold, and you're probably gonna have to show them more than once, and then you're gonna have to show them how to wipe off the counters, you're gonna have to show them how to pick up the plates or put the plates on the table. You're gonna to have to show them how to pick up the toys. You're going to have to show them. They do not come here with an instruction book and they are just built in and they just know. So you're gonna to have to show them. Also, monkey see, monkey do. If you make yourself a chart and they see you checking it off every day and they see you doing chores every day and making like a deal about it i mean you know they of course they see us cooking dinner and they see us folding clothes and they see us putting them up and they see us doing all the things that we normally do during the day but because we're not specifically walking over there and saying check this is my chore for the day the little bait little child is not going to realize oh wait a minute mommy does chores too they're just going to think that that's just part of who you are and what you do 
but if you make a big deal about mommy's doing her chores, see how mommy does her chores? It will make a huge impact on how they handle their chores. Okay, so that's my five tips. I would like right now to give you a bonus tip. Um, it's probably going to help you the most out of everything, and it may be like a duh to some of you, but for some people, like my husband, it was a major game changer. So, tip number six, lower your standards. They are not going to fold the towels in an aesthetically pleasing way. It's going to be rolled and wrinkly, and that's okay. Just, you know, put them in your bathroom. The ones that your little boy does or little girl does, put them in your bathroom. And then you do the ones for the guest room that everybody else is going to see. But don't go behind them and redo it. Because they're going to see that. They're going to internalize that. And they're going to feel like, well, I don't even do a good job. And mommy just redoes it. So what's the point? And we don't want that. We want them to feel proud of themselves. We want them to feel like they are doing a great job. And like I said earlier, it is not about them and how they do it it's about learning to do it eventually they will be a great towel folder eventually there will not be any streaks left on your countertops the point is is teaching them to do it right now so, so you should lower your standards for your own personal sanity sanity <laughs> slash six with my bonus tip for you on how to get your preschooler to do their chores without any complaints and how to do it effectively. So I hope you enjoyed this. You're my naked baby. <laughs> Tell them bye. Uh, bye, y'all have a blessed day. Please don't forget to like this video, to comment down below, and make sure you subscribe and hit that ring bell so that you can get my latest videos. Thanks.